Who needs a date night? Do it yourself a restaurant quality pizza kits are now available at Fast Fired Carbones on Roblin. Today, I have local owner and operator, Jesse McDougal, live on Neri's Kitchen. Hey, thanks for having me. So yeah, we, uh, we got a date night box here. Uh, it's available at Fast Fired on Roblin. Uh, we came up with it kind of during this uh, quarantined time, um, self isolation, stuff like that. Um, so you can get all this stuff in your grocery store, um, get your pizza dough, um, all your meats, vegetables, sauces, um, but it is a process and uh, time is important to everyone. So uh, what we have come up with is Fast Fire Do It Yourself Pizza Kit. And how much is this pizza kit? This pizza kit's $30. Okay. Um, and it's available right now on DoorDash uh, or you can call the store. Um, and then it's going to be available on Skip the Dishes and on our website next week. Okay, so, perfect. Yeah. So basically what you get in your date night box is two dough balls, eight choices of toppings, four per pizza. We're going to get some sauce here. That we picked the classic for today. Nothing crazy. Got our seminella, which is basically going to act as a flour. It's a pizza flour. Um, and then we got our mozzarella cheese. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And then which toppings did you pick here? I, I got liked the pineapple. Uh, pineapple, ham, and chicken, and, and chi bacon. I think. And bacon. So there you go. That's going to be yours. Okay. And I'm going to grab my toppings, which was red peppers, green peppers, salami and basil. So lots of veggies versus lots of meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take my side here. Okay. First step is to, oh, actually, before we forget, we're going to uh, preheat our oven to 475. Beep, beep, beep. It's already done. <laughs> <laughs> um, so first step here is our salmonella. So okay. I'm going to lay down a nice amount for you there. I'm going to lay down Nice amount for myself there. We'll leave a little extra to put on top. We've washed our hands. Yes. Okay. So you see how the dough ball is in a round shape? Mm -hmm. We want to keep it round for as long as possible. All right. Okay. So I'm going to throw a little bit of salmonella on top. A little on top for yourself. And now we're just going to press down Firmly with our oh, hands. Oh, firmly? Okay. Yeah. And you see how it's still in its in shape like that? Yes. Okay. So we want to push. If it does lose its shape, you can kind of bring it together like that. Okay. So push and then reshape it into a circle. You got it. Perfect. All right. Okay. And then, so for the first step, we're going to use the palm of our hand right here, and we're going to turn the dough counterclockwise. Okay. So this is to create the crust. So we're just pressing and creating the crust. If you feel like it's sticking to the table, just scoop some salmon. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to keep going like just that. Keep going. Okay. This is actually quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> so you see how it's still in the shape? And yes. if you see, there's an excess dough in the middle. Okay. So yeah, yours is looking good. Perfect. So now we want to push all that excess dough out to the sides. Okay. So we're going to put our salmonella underneath. Okay. And instead of going counterclockwise, yeah. we're going to go clockwise. Oh, the dough. opposite way. Okay. Okay. So now we're just kind of stretching. Oh, we're stretching it. Wanting it to look like a pizza. And how big are these, uh, the dough crusts? So we make it in store 12 inches. 12 inches. Okay. And that's a thin crust pizza. So you see how if you're stretching, it's a little bit irregular on the outside. Oh, I ripped mine. Oh, you ripped it? <laughs> I no, ripped it. No problem. You just pinch. Oh, I just pinch? Yeah, okay. Grab and pinch, and then yeah. you're good to go. Okay. Again. Perfect. Okay. There. So. <laughs> I was stretching too much. Yeah. Too much muscles. Too much muscles. <laughs> okay. So that's good. So okay. we're going to want to like work our outside here. Oh, I see. Okay. Say hello to our audience. There 51 people. Hi, FitFam. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> We have 55 viewers right now, Jesse. Okay, so yours might be more of a kid's style pizza. So okay. if you want a thicker crust, mm -hmm. you're going to want to leave your pizza a little bit smaller. And then if you want a thinner crust, you're going to want to go a little bit more. So I'm going to stretch mine out a little bit more. I think I want a bigger pizza, not a kid sized pizza. <laughs> I just don't want uh, <laughs> your, your ripped hole to get in the way there. 
So we're just working the outside across there to make a nice round shape. Okay, you can also do a gravity stretch on your pizza. So you're just going around the crust like that, which will also give it a... Okay. So, I don't know, I'm happy with that. Yours looks pretty good too. I'm gonna Honestly, pinch my hole. You're gonna pinch your hole? Yeah. yeah. So if you don't pinch the hole, yeah. your sauce, your cheese, everything's gonna fall through. Right. Make a really smelly mess in right. your oven. Okay. And we don't want that. And we don't want that. So, I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with that. I just want it as big as possible. <laughs> okay. So, if uh, you have a pin roller, you can mm -hmm. obviously pin roll at home. Okay. And that can get it as thin and as far as you want. Okay. So, well, that's uh, a good size, right? Yeah. I don't need a giant one. Okay, so from here, we're going to put it onto our pans. Okay. So I'll give you this one. The baby one. <laughs> I'm going to take this one. So we'll put a little bit of salmon oil on the pan so it doesn't oh, stick. On the pan? Okay. And then we'll just put our dough right there. If you have a pizza pan, obviously that works the best, but the pan will be just fine. So this is a great activity to do with the family too. Yeah, absolutely. And like, have your kids involved, it keeps them away from watching the TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, awesome for a little family date night. Uh, and the kids love making their own pizza. Exactly. So, um, a lot of fun there. Okay, so from here, we'll just clean this off a little bit. And the next step is our sauce. Our sauce, okay. You like lots of sauce or? A fair amount of sauce. Of sauce. I don't like it too soggy. Okay. So, usually a ladle is about right. Okay. I'll do mine first. But let's start in the middle. And then you just, with the bottom of your spoon, work it out to the outside. And you want to leave about a half inch on the crust to, okay. create, to create your crust. If you go all the way to the outside, you'll just have burnt tomato sauce on the outside. Okay, good to know. Okay, and I'll let you do yours. All right. Is it a ladle full? Mm -hmm. And start in the middle. Mm -hmm. And there you go. And there we go. And not too far to the crust, otherwise it will be burnt. I think cool. I need more sauce. Yeah. Okay. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I think that's good. Perfect. Okay, so next is the cheese. And people think that you need to load the cheese on, mm -hmm. but you really don't. You want to see the red sauce uh, in between your mozzarella cheese um, because it is, gonna, it is shredded and it's going to expand. Okay. So just go light like that. Always make sure I have some right along the crust. And if you put a lot of cheese right in the middle of your pizza, you know how you have a floppy pizza sometimes? Yes. It's when you put too much cheese right in the middle. In the middle, so okay. So you kind of want to go more on the outside, less in the middle. I didn't know that. I just always assumed it was a crust and I thought it was a bad crust. It was soggy. Yeah, so you see how you see some red sauce there mm -hmm. still? That's kind of what you want. It's okay. going to spread out and it's going to fill the whole pizza. Okay. So I'll let you do yours there. So not too much cheese and not too much in the middle. Is that enough? I think I need more. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, and then it's really important to get right around the crust so right. it doesn't curl up. Oh, okay. Yeah, the cheese acts, acts as a little bit of a weight. Mm -hmm. It keeps your pizza down, so. Okay, so make sure you have cheese around your crust so that it doesn't curl up. Exactly. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so it is topping time. So I got my red peppers, my green peppers, my salami from DeLuca's. I got basil. I'm going to add the basil on last and I'll show you a little chefy thing. If you watch cooking shows, you probably have seen it before. Mm -hmm. um, but here we go. I like to start with my meat. Meat? Okay. So I will put chicken on mine because mm -hmm. I like lots of chicken. What's your favorite protein? I like beef. beef? I really enjoy beef. I can eat beef every day. Yeah? Nice. I like ground chicken too. Not chicken breast. 
Not chicken breast. Not chicken really? breast. It's dry. I'm not a fan of chicken breast. Hmm. No. Nope. I like lots of bacon too. I've been really enjoying turkey bacon lately. What's your favorite protein? Uh, probably beef as well. Beef? A nice steak. Yeah, I like yeah. steak, ground beef. Yeah. Um, turkey. Turkey. Yep, turkey. You know what's funny? RJ and I ate a whole turkey last week. A whole turkey? We can polish a whole turkey in four or five days. Wow. And like what pound is that? Like, like a, a turkey that you'd feed your... Oh yeah, a turkey for Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. The, the turkey that I bought was huge. It was on sale um, for half price and I purchased it for $15. I believe it was um, a 24 pound turkey. Holy. But this time we gave some away. And what'd you guys make with it? Anything crazy? Just kale salad, kale salad. Um, some stuffing, nothing too crazy. Nice. Okay, so yeah, this is ready to go. Um, I'm gonna put on my basil maybe with five minutes left in the cook. Um, and because I don't want it to burn, if you do like that kind of burnt crispy basil taste, pop it on right now. But I'm gonna put my in the oven right now. Okay. And okay. Wow, yours looks good too. Here Can we, we go. cook two at the same time? I think so. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it out. So, top rack. I'm gonna go bottom. And how long will this take in the oven, Jesse? So it's 10 to 15 minutes, but it really depends on your oven. Um, the newer ovens are gonna be less. Older ones a little bit more, um, so we're gonna keep an eye out. Um, we want to look for golden crust, um, basically rising crust. All the cheese melted. You don't want to see any grated cheese left. Okay. 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 Um, so yeah, so we got ten minutes, and in the meantime, we are gonna show. I'm sure everyone knows how to make energy bites. Have you done an energy bite? Show I have done a few energy bites on my show, but okay. every recipe is different, right? Okay. So here's another variation. Um, you can get them at Fast Fired. Um, and we're gonna show you exactly how to make them. Right Wonderful, now. I'm so excited. So we got okay. our bowl. Let's clear this up. Okay. All right. That. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what we need and Mary's gonna pop it in the bowl for us. Perfect. So first, it's gonna be 112 grams of oats. 112 grams of oats. Yeah, exactly. Right. Better not be 113. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers, if you don't have a scale, these are very inexpensive to purchase right now. So it's 112 grams of oats. Um, and not a gram more. I'm at 84, oh, 96, 104, 107. There we go. 113. Too much, too <laughs> much. No, it's all good. We, uh, we worked extra hard today, right? Yes, we did. Did an extra minute. I'm on a step challenge, so I really need to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, what's next? Okay, what's next? So we got uh, 50 grams of ground flax. So flax is a great uh, mega three. Um, really good grams. antioxidants. Good fats. Good yeah. fats. Good for you. It's good for you. I'm at 39. What is 50 grams roughly? Is that half a cup? Uh, I think it's about a quarter cup. Quarter cup? Okay. Yeah. So about a quarter cup of flax. Okay. And then we're going to balance out all that healthiness with some chocolate. Syrup. Yummy. How much? Uh, we're going to do 90 grams. 90 grams. And who doesn't love chocolate chips? Okay. 90 grams on the dot. Mm hmm. Okay, now we got our wet stuff. So we got 230 grams of peanut butter and 54 of honey. Okay, so how much peanut butter again? Uh, 235. 235 grams of peanut butter. Yeah. I hope there's 235 in there. I have lots of peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you want to make it a little bit healthier, obviously use natural peanut butter, but um, I like it tasty. So it really depends on your preference, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. I use both. I use natural peanut butter for some recipes because yeah. I think it tastes better, the texture is better, and for others I use my, th th this peanut butter too. Nice. It really depends. On yeah, bread, I like this peanut butter. And then in like bites and bars, you like Yeah, if natural? I'm making bars or bites, I like natural. But like I said, it really depends on the recipe. So this is 256 grams. 
Perfect. It won't kill you. Yeah, well, we had to balance out mm -hmm. the, that extra the gram extra. of oats, right? Exactly, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got 54 grams of honey on. 54, okay. Now, if you don't have honey, is there another substitute that you can use for honey? Hmm, you would know better than me, uh, but... I think I put too much honey. Okay. I put 80 grams. 80 grams? Yeah, we can take some out, right? Sure. Or can well, we just add more well, oats? Let's, let's, let's add more oats. Okay, let's add and more so oats. And so that's the beauty of this is um, if you're not on a crazy strict diet or anything and you don't need to count your macros, we can just kind of go. You can fix it. <laughs> so, okay, uh, do we have a cutting board? A cutting board, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Show you. And a knife too? And a knife too. Pretty please. Oh, let's give you this knife there. Awesome. So yeah, so Ari's gonna mix this up. Just mix and it up. then uh, we're gonna it's about 20 gram balls that makes a nice kind of quarter quarter ball, but we're not gonna weigh those out. We're no. just gonna put them in our hand and roll. Okay, I think it's still a little bit wet. Or is this the right consistency? It, it looks like the right looks consistency. Looks good? Okay. Yeah. And then once it gets to a certain point, I kind of just get my hands in there. And, and how many balls there. would this make? Uh, that's going to make about, mm, maybe about 24 balls. 24 balls? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So I prepared some last night. They're in the, they're in the fridge right now. I'll show you how those look in a bit. But I'm um, just going to prepare my basil here. So you lay down the uh, leaves just like this on top of each other. And then roll them up to a little cocoon. And then we just chop like this. Makes it a little bit more fragrant. And this is a cooler look on the pizza, I think, anyways. So that'll be topped on top of the pizza in about five minutes or so. Say hello to Hugo and say hello to Sandy. Hi Hugo, hi Sandy, thanks for tuning in. If you don't have honey, use more peanut butter, she said. And if you don't have honey, use more peanut butter. There you go, thank there you. There we go. So yeah, I'll get in here too. Okay. And this is also a great activity to do with the kids. Yeah. While we're quarantined. And you can eat this dough raw. It's not like cookie dough. Exactly, there's no eggs. Oh, I'm trying to be all neat here. <laughs> And how much more time for the pizzas? Um, we put it in about five minutes ago, five. so maybe about five minutes. So how is business going for you, Jesse? Uh, it's good, you know, like it was, it was tough times here. Obviously a lot of businesses are uh, affected by uh, this coronavirus mm -hmm. and um, a lot of restaurants have closed down. Um, so we were about to close down. Government uh, has stepped in and helped us a lot um, with some government funding. Uh, wage subsidies, which has been great uh, to help small businesses stay open, um, as well as donations uh, from charities and, and, and stuff like that. So um, we were about to close. We laid all of our staff off. Um, and now we're hiring back five of our staff and businesses uh, in the up and up. So uh, hopefully these new pizza kits uh, take off as well. And we've made it easy for everyone to uh, make pizza at home with family. So. And these pizza kits are only $30. Yeah, only $30. Only $30, and it comes in a convenient package. Yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning, uh, but right now it's available on DoorDash, so you can log into DoorDash, 10 p.m. at night, I wanna make pizza at home, we'll, we'll order from DoorDash, it's gonna be at your door. Um, so you're available that right now, or you can call the store, 204-888-5736. Um, and you can come, we'll order for a pickup or it's $5 for delivery. So um, that's kind of where it's available right now. It's going to be skip the dishes and available on our website next week. Perfect. As it launches fully. So here we go. Almost done here. Almost done. Oh, I washed my hands already. It's okay. You keep, you keep those skews. If you want to grab okay. the ones that we prepared sure. uh, yesterday or I prepared yesterday. 
And this is the finished product. Yeah. See how they kind of tighten up in the, yeah. in the fridge a bit? Mm -hmm. um, when you grab it, your hand's not going to look like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or like that. These ones are huge compared to those ones. Yeah. Should we try? Yes, let's try. Okay. Okay, I'll take this. I'm starving. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so good. It's like heaven in my mouth. How can you go wrong? Mm -hmm. You peanut, can't go wrong. Peanut butter and oats. Peanut butter, honey, oats, chocolate chips, flats, the healthy ingredients. Mm -hmm. It's really good. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. mm. And just a few more minutes you on the pizza. Mm -hmm. Jerome, you should try one. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. Okay. Um, I'm going to wash my hands. Mmm, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Who else do we have online, RJ? Gomez. Chris Gomez. Hi, Chris. Thanks for tuning in. And what are your hours, Jesse, for Fast Fired? Um, so right now we are 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, next couple weeks, kind of follow us on Instagram, Fast Fired Roblin, um, or at Fast Fired, and all the updated hours are going to be on there. But 4 to 11 right now, and we'll be looking to get back to 11 to 11 right away. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So, um, and then as well, we, in a, about a month or so, we're doing a 24-hour pizza-a-thon. So, to raise money um, um, for some charities. But uh, basically, we're staying open until we hit, hit X dollars. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. Andrew Harris is going to be there. Uh, we're going to try and maybe get the mayor, um, make an event out of it. So it's going to be a lot of fun, 24 hours of pizza. And we're going to team up with Skip and DoorDash and have drivers kind of delivering all night. So it's going to be a good time. Sounds good. Yeah. And Fit Club. Fit Club. And Fit Club, wow. We'll be there. We'll do a 24 hour workout marathon. Ooh. That sounds I like good. that. Yeah, we'll move the tables and chairs and we'll get going. <laughs> no, no, we'll do it at the gym. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, okay. Because we're just down the street. So yeah. We'll do it. We'll get everybody set up in teams. And, and we'll, we want to do this for a while, so we'll get everybody set up in teams. Okay. And then they'll just like tag team off. So every 30 minutes, it could be a new person working out. And then the food will be. I like it. We'll order from. Uh, well, yeah, we'll, we're, we're there. <laughs> we'll do, we can't we'll, eat unless we raise money. Yes. How does that sound? So Perfect. work out, raise money, we eat pizza. Balls, yep. we pizza. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have to talk about that. Yeah. We, should, we, should, <laughs> we should team up. 24 hour workout a thon. So I how like many trainers that. would you need for that? Just one? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. So we'll take a peek at the pizzas here. Always important to double check on them. So they're looking really good. Um, I'm going to grab a... It's just underneath the oven. There we go. Take a look at her pizza. Look at that. Beautiful. So yeah, you don't see any shreds of cheese anymore. That kind of means that it's done. Um, and then we're going to check our crust here. So if you pick that. pick it up and it kind of has a cardboardy effect, it's done. If it flops, it needs some more time. So we're going to pull it out right now. Oh my God. There we go. And that's yours. Wow, that looks good. This turned out well, even though I had a hole. It I know it's perfect. So like you can't even tell. That's the crazy thing <laughs> is is that your pieces might not look great before it's cooked, but mm -hmm. it always comes out looking fire. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'm just gonna grab this off the pan here. So we okay. Can cut it. And I have a pizza cutter here too. Perfect. Great. Get yours off as well for you. So yeah, if you don't put that salmonella down, it will stick to the pan like crazy. So that is a very important step. Okay. So fresh basil is going to go on top there. 
And fresh basil always goes on at the end? Yes, yeah. In, okay. unless you like that charred, charred flavor. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like eating it raw like this. Okay. Okay, and then we're always cutting just straight ahead. The pizza rotates, we do not. secret cut pizza. Just getting into that crust and then right through. There's no secret. It's cutting pizza. Come on. <laughs> okay. So there it is. A little bit of flop. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to wait two seconds before I put that in my mouth. That's going to burn. All right. And so I can cut go. mine. Sure. All right. Uh, so away from you, right? Away. Oh, that's hard. I don't think I went through. Here, maybe go that way. Oh, okay. Go right through it. You really need some muscles. There you go. Perfect. Oh, I went through. Okay, good. Yeah, and then you can just rotate your board. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. And one more. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so it is going to be hot. I'm going to wait two seconds so we don't burn our else up. Um, but this looks good. Dang. You gonna try a piece? I will. I wasn't talking to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. What are your plans for today, Jesse? Um, I'm gonna head back to the store. Uh, we got some planning to do because we are uh, doing 60 meals a day for a company called Scoop and they donate or they feed uh, homeless people. So um, they do 180 meals for the day and we're in charge of 60 of them right now. So basically planning out that week of meals, um, doing some food ordering and uh, getting the team kind of in line with that. So that's what's on my schedule for today. And uh, yeah, maybe some Netflix later Netflix. on. Netflix and chill, yeah. Netflix and it's a beautiful and day too. It is, yeah. Did you see uh, 21? This week? No, I didn't. Be? On Wednesday. 21. 21 degrees on Wednesday. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's like beach weather now. Park time. Park <laughs> time. Okay, he's like looking here like, when are you going to when are you going to feed me? Jet, what's your favorite food? He loves pizza. He <laughs> really? loves it. Really? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, well, this is going to be good then. Okay, do we want to try this yes, out? Yes, let's try it. Okay. okay. I think it's good. Cheers. Cheers. And you see how the crust is a little bit white on the bottom there? You can really crank your oven up to as high as it uh, gets. We cook our pizza at 700. So if you want that like brown crust on the bottom, raise the temperature. But here we go. It's really good. And when I took my bite, it wasn't floppy in the middle like you mentioned. <laughs> Wanna try a piece? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. later, off camera. And there we have it, super simple, ultra t tasty date night or family night pizza for $30. And for Neri's Kitchen viewers and friends of Fit Club within five miles of fast-fired Carbone on Roblin, you will get free delivery today only. To place your orders, make sure to call 204-888-5736 and make sure to mention Neri's Kitchen to get free delivery. Thank you, Jesse, for joining me on today's episode, and I'm looking forward to eating this pizza with my family. Awesome. Thanks for having me. See you next week, FitFam, and we will be visiting Fruit de la Vie Juice Company, where, where we will be juicing and making a special Asian-inspired dish. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Boom. All right. See you later. Come on in, RJ. Let's go. Okay, let's eat. Let's go eat. Let's eat. This let's one eat. wants to eat, eat, too. Eat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Boom. <gasps> Look at that. Jet, look. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, keep eating. How'd you, how'd you fold that? It's gonna see that piece like. Oh, I, I ate it. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, oh. It's a little hot, Kai. Yummy. Mm. Yeah, have a chicken. There you go. That's good.